Hey guys, Matt DeWitt from MWD Adventures. I got another trailer tour for you from our HTC E5 event this past fall. Super excited on this one. Laura and Greg gave us an awesome tour of their trailer. Let's take a look at all the features that make it great for them to get out and do some camping. Hello, we're finally back at HTC E. This is the fifth annual. Um, I have Greg Lightfoot here with me and he has some really cool mods he's done on this trailer. But first of all, what is something that you wish you would have added to your trailer when you ordered it from the get-go? I uh, wish we would have added an extra propane tank in the fourth roof rack. Mm -hmm. And we actually went and did that after our second oh. or third trip. So okay. we got those added on and that helped support the 98-inch uh, awning on the other side. So then it's lined up right for your door. Yeah, to open and then the extra it. propane tank is just a backup, but also we have a propane fire pit and we can use it for that. Yep. All right, well, you want to show us around some sure. of the things you've done? Okay. Let's start with you've got, it looks like the arc jack in the front here. Yeah, we got the arc jack. That was one of the um, things they added on right when we were buying it, and they yes. had the black one, which looks cool. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, really love that. And we love that because we can pull in, drop the trailer, and then just roll it around. We moved it in gravel. All nice. kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. so. so this is the fourth bar you're talking about that you had added on. Yeah. Okay. You don't use it for kayaks or anything like that? Nothing like that right okay. now. Um, okay. It was mainly to support the awning. And if we ever need to haul stuff, it's just nice yeah. having that there. Cool logo. Who came up with that? I did. It, um, we liked the cross because we're Christians. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like hiking in the woods and outdoors. And I'm an old guy with a beard. And she likes being on the beach in the sun. So... <laughs> That represented us and cool. uh, it yeah. worked. It was one of those things where we thought about being like you guys, you know, doing the YouTube <laughs> thing, but we realized we do all that stuff, we're just not going to film it. Yeah. So, yep. It's all about getting out. That's really yeah. what matters. Yeah. All right. So, you've got a couple, you changed up the way that you have some shelving here on the side. Yes. Yeah, so, with the, the table here, um, we found when we had the walls and things like that, it was tight when it stuck out this way. So, I moved the bracket on the table to the side mm -hmm. and move the leg over to the side so that it supports there and then it just leans against the uh, fender for the other side and it's very stable mm -hmm. and we've got the propane for the grill right there and then uh, I took a bench that had two three-foot sections and took it apart this plastic bit put some magnets on it uh, to make an extra long table here and then it was a little goofy so had these a uh, little wobbly so these uh suction cup things work great as an extra brace and now yep. we have those on both sides and support our stuff keep it off the ground you got a big fridge here yeah this we had before we got the the hiker uh we got tired of dealing with ice so this is the dometic mm -hmm. 75 and we've got it set up with uh freezer and fridge so now do you keep this in your trailer when you're moving or do you put it in your tow vehicle? We put it in the back of the truck. There's a plug-in in the back and we yep. can keep it powered up there. Nice. So you can probably go out for quite a while with that much space in the fridge freezer. Yeah. What's the longest trip you guys have done? This will be our longest one. I think the longest so far has been five days. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you've... Looks like you guys for go for went for went for went. <laughs> you for went the pass through. Yes. But the shelf looks higher than what it standardly comes with. Yeah, we decided we we wanted it closed off, no possible bugs inside. Uh, we went with the 24 inch deep, mm -hmm. and we knew we were going to use these Alpha brand drawers from uh, the container store. Mm -hmm. We have some at home and really like them. So, Makes it easy. You can pull the whole drawer out, take it inside, load it up, mm -hmm. bring it back. And so they're not quite 24 inches deep. It doesn't no, look they're like 18 it. inches deep. Okay. And then uh, we made it so that they'll kind of lock in in this track. And that gives us room to put the, the side table up here while we're traveling. Mm -hmm. I have a shoe box that I slide in there to kind of Tetris it and yep. make sure things don't slide it's around. It's all about the Tetris. <laughs> and then we've also got the Dometic uh, water tap here with the water jugs down on the side out of Very the way. Nice. Nice and handy to have it right there. And then we uh, also wanted something that we could easily see what was up here. Mm -hmm. So we found these clear containers at the container store and they fit that depth just right. So we got just enough to fill that space. And then on this other side, you've got a whole nother room it looks like. Yeah, so we went with the 98 by 98 uh, 230 straight awning and their uh, 
tent room that attaches, so it just hangs from the awning, and it slides in that sail slide oh, slot. Kind of like on that bottom. On the yeah, on there. the bottom on there, and then it zips on on this side. Okay. And then just velcros around the poles. So yeah, and this is just kind of our, you know, changing room. We've got the laundry facilities, <laughs> uh, another one of those tables over here, uh, you know, beauty station. And then we have this triptych uh, toilet that we got. This uh, collapses down into just a couple inches high. And you can, you know, just like any of them, it's got the seat and put the bag in, mm -hmm. but you can haul the stuff in there as well. Basically it, uh, see if we can get it to work. It wow. collapses That's nice down. That's nice and flat. And then I just keep that in the, the front toolbox or frunk as we've been frunk. calling it. Yep. <laughs> I like cool. it. All right, well, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, we get the step stools just for is this places. The XL? This is the uh, mid range, is what they call it now. Okay. It used to be the mid range deluxe, mm -hmm. but not the XL. Okay. Yeah, they just call it the mid range now. So we added on some cubbies on the door. This has been difficult to get it to stick. Mm -hmm. it, we've tried different things and it's textured, it's kind of yeah so what have you what are you using currently it's like gorilla glue and tape and <laughs> just don't put heavy stuff in it yeah. and it seems to work yeah uh, one of the big things we did was we used these uh, bins uh, it was actually a package of 12 from Amazon and they fit perfectly I did have to learn after not doing it to zip tie them all together mm -hmm. as we traveled they shuffled ah, yes uh, so and, you've got a power station in this inside here, it looks like instead of in the back or in the toolbox. Yeah, so we already had the 23-0 uh, battery and when we talked to them we said, yeah, we want to stay with that and not mm -hmm. add it and have extra space in the other areas. So we just yeah. put it in there and I rewired it so that it uses the Anderson plugs mm -hmm. uh, instead of the uh, 110. Yep. And uh, I like it in there because now I have can complete access to however our power is being managed right there. Mm -hmm. Of course, we had to make little covers to cover up the lights. <laughs> Matt's all about having <laughs> lights covered also. Yep. And then your your window coverings are different than I've seen for most people. Yeah, Laura found some cork uh, material mm -hmm. and then, so it was a little stiffer, but it's waterproof, doesn't mold, anything like that. And she uh, stained it, actually made it a little darker because it was it was the same color as the camper. Uh, nice to have a little contrast in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. it's already it's thick enough by it itself. It's darkening. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's mold and mildew resistant. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. naturally. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. And it was easy. I didn't have to hem it or anything right. like that. You just <laughs> cut it. and. All right, Laura. So where did you find this material? At Julian Fabric. Really? Yep. Because I have a feeling there may be people asking about that. It's nice. It's not cheap, but once you get it, you know. One of the other things we did is we went with the full size mattress instead of the queen. Oh. Uh -huh. um, but we found that it moved, <laughs> especially with the air vent under it. And I mm -hmm. put down the, the foam for the yep. insulation. So I actually put uh, two by four, two two by fours with some slots to frame it and keep it in place. And then that gives us actual storage slots along the bed yep. to put stuff. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's been fun. She says I have more fun building and playing with it than actually using it. There's uh, something so. to be said about that part too. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We've enjoyed it. Uh, we picked this up in March and we have camped. This will be our seventh trip and overlapping some months on trips. We've camped every month since March. Nice. So what did you camp in before you started with this? We actually used a uh, Sylvan Sport Go. It's a trailer with a, and it jacks up and then the tent folds down. So mm -hmm. it's a tent, mm -hmm. no real insulation, but at least you're off the ground. Yeah. The big hassle with it was it was a two hour setup time. And we love this, that if we're just driving along, need to hit a rest stop, we can pull over, climb in, sleep. Exactly. We're good to go. Yep. I think that's why we went with the five by 10 as well as we wanted to make sure we didn't have to store anything on the bed mm -hmm. so that we could just get in yeah and the five by ten's giving us that kind of little extra space there to do that nice well thanks a lot for showing us well, around yeah happy <laughs> nice being you guys
Thanks to Greg and Laura Lightfoot for letting us tour their trailer. They have it all set up to meet their needs so they can make sure they get out and do some more camping.